Now that my fish are here, I'll show you the whole setup. So we have a breeding colony in the tank. Um, there are six fish, one male, and five females. Just acclimated. They uh, look healthy and happy and swimming around and taking a look at things. So basically what happens here is um, you can see in the tank that uh, that pipe coming out right there. That siphons out, comes around into these pipes. This comes into the drain beds. I've got one on either side or into the grow beds. In this grow bed we have romaine popping up and this here is butter crunch. In this grow bed We have spinach coming up. There's a few around there. And Swiss chard as well popping up. So, these grow beds then are on an ebb and flow cycle. And they fill up with the water. And they drain back out when they're all the way filled up. And where they drain is into this sump. They drain right out of these. It's a bell siphon system. My cycle runs about every 13 minutes. It's a little quick, but it's not that big of a deal. In my sump, I have, uh, besides the pump, I have the aerators. Um, so that puts uh, the oxygen into the water. This pipe here we'll talk about in a little bit. I do have a tank heater in here too. Um, I'm going to be hooking that up to a thermostat to be able to regulate the temperature a little bit more. I'd like to get the heaters out of the um, out of the actual tanks and just be able to use a bucket heater. But uh, right now it just makes things a little bit too warm, so I need to uh, fix that. So that's the starting point for all the water. That gets pumped right back up into the fish tank, comes right in there. That other siphon back there that you see, that other pipe, that's an overflow siphon. So in case uh, it keeps it keeps the water at a constant at a constant uh, height, and that overflow siphon filters into this bucket down here. I'm going to put a little bit of filtration in here um, now that I have fish, uh, another little bit of gravel to catch the solids because what happens here is a continual flow system. It drains out of here into the four-inch PVC pipes and into these little cups. So there's water flowing underneath here in the gravel. And as you can see, I have stuff growing in here too. Uh, butter crunch. Well, everything that I have up, up top is growing in here too. It's a way to try out different ideas, different ways of doing things. And so I have butter crunch and romaine. It's all doing well. The spinach is coming up in these two. Um, and so is, uh, so is a Swiss chard, as you can see, down there. So that cycles around there. Water flows through in, out through this pipe, and back down into the sump. So that is pretty much my, my basic uh, aquaponic system, chop system. I am going to be adding uh, another tank here, and what this is going to be doing, um, I need to get a little bit more powerful pump. And the pump is going to come up and uh, go into this tank um, and into this tank, and then the overflow from this tank is going to flow back into the first tank. The siphon here will come across, and there will still be a vertical growth space here, and that will float down into these two um, these two bins and these bins are going to be a floating raft system so the water will be filled up here and then there will be a, a styrofoam up here and then grow um, grow um, cups into both of these this will then drain into this bin and in this bin I will be growing duckweed to help feed my fish and I don't have this plumbing set up yet but that will then drain all the way back in back into the sump so I'll be able to demonstrate just uh, both ebb and flow systems, continual flow systems, floating raft systems, and a vertical grow bed too. So, but meanwhile, the fish are here. So, there you go.